I, I gotta pull out. I'm getting sick. <laughs> Whoa! All right, friends, welcome to Flight Test. We got a really fun challenge today. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, we got our Piranha. It's 120 mile on airplane, but we're also gonna be bringing back our FPV chair. If you guys remember in the past, we made an FPV chair out of an orange crate, and we flew the Stratus Surfer, we flew the Simple Cup, but we didn't fly anything with speed. So what I am really excited about is not just going out and testing this out like we're about to do, yeah. but actually putting your butt <laughs> in the pilot seat of this, you know, with, with your FPV chair. Yeah. So that's going to be the most fun for me. I'm blessed to fly two different airplanes. We got an Airlight 103 and we got an Aronka Champ that I get to fly. Uh, neither one of those come close to the speed that this will be. So this would technically be flying from the cockpit faster than when I fly the real airplanes from. So I, I just can't wait. Well, first things first, we're going to take this out. We're going to see what we can do line of sight. Then we're going to come back in. We're going to resurrect the FPV chair, put some FPV on it and do it all over again. Let's go fly it. All right. All right, so TJ's gonna be chasing me with the camera. Uh, I'm gonna put this in launch assist. So launch assist is something where basically it makes your, your launch and catch you level, certain angle of attack. I'm gonna trust this out of the box. I'm gonna hold this down the lower left hand corner. We're in launch assist. So now you can see it's gonna make a climb out about 20 degree angle. All I need to do is give it power and toss it. And awesome. TJ, you get the chase. Yeah, that's awesome. You ready? You ready? Uh, yep, ready to go. Off, brother. That's so crazy. You just launched it with nothing. I threw it like a boomerang too. That's awesome. All right, super smooth. All right, I'm just gonna, I wanna play with slow flight first because we're gonna have to land this. So right now I'm flying about 40% throttle. This is a nice comfortable speed. It's definitely not 120 miles an hour. We're just letting my friend TJ. So that's one thing, shot. you're you're saying 40% throttle, I'm at like 70. Wow. <laughs> It's controllable speed at this. It's not bad at all. Tell me when you're happy. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm good, man. All right, I'm gonna go vertical. Race ya. I'm right on you. You're looking good. Just don't come right back on me. <laughs> all right, I wanna try something here. Dude, it stopped midair. Like, it just dead stopped right there. That was awesome. You ready for a speed pass? I uh, sure am. All right, I'm gonna get some, scare the golfers here. Get some distance. There's power lines in the. Dude, I pinned, I pinned the throttle and it was, it it was, was all gone. I could do to keep up with you, yeah. You ready to do some sketchy stuff? I sure am. <laughs> all right, bro. All right, so what are you about to do? I want to take it up high. There's this thing called a boomerang, too. All right, nice and high. You ready? Ready. Roll it inverted, stall it, and quarter the sticks. There it is! Wow. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that! That thing is spinning fast, man. All right, I better pull out. Oh, there went a, there a canopy. I'm gonna follow. It's, it's I'm, gonna the nose. Follow <laughs> I'm gonna follow your canopy. <laughs> All right. So my track record is safe here. I always blow canopies and noses off. Let's see. I think it was it the canopy. That was a canopy. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I have right the, over here. I have the go on it. I have the weight. Dude, yeah. So yeah, there's a camera <laughs> laying right there in the field. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. if only I had a way to grab it and bring it back to us. All right. I'm gonna slow this down. All right. Slow where'd you go? Elevator it in. Look at that. Oh, nice. All right, test flight's over. This thing's fantastic. It does everything it should be doing. Our next step here is we're gonna put some HDFPV in this through the DJI system. Yeah. Then we're gonna go ahead and get my simulator chair. I got a couple tweaks. I gotta repair it a little bit. Got a little rough on it. I'm, I'm really excited to see you do the boomerang in the goggles. In the goggles. If, that, yeah. if that's possible. <laughs> you may see something come out of me you know, first. Yeah. Man, I can't wait. We got some batteries charged. We got an FPV system to put in. Let's do this. Let's go. All right guys, so while they're getting cracking on this crazy project, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor of this episode, and that is our friends over at Raycon. So if you don't know much about Raycon, Raycon is a company co-founded by one of the music legends in the industry, Ray J. He had this novel idea to create a brand within the music industry with premium wireless audio. So now Raycon is all about disrupting the electronics industry by designing premium wireless audio for about half the price without compromising those features of quality audio. They're doing things a little bit differently than other brands out there from the way they design their products to pretty much the way that they price them. They kind of prioritize their customer's experience from start to finish. So something that I really find interesting about Raycon is that they offer their wireless earbuds in a bunch of fun colors and patterns 
as well as there's a bunch of different fit options with the size of your ears and you don't get those dangling wires or stems. Now another crazy thing about the Raycon brand is how much traction it's getting in the industry from celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Mike Tyson, Melissa Etheridge, all those kinds of people because they just really love the premium wireless audio that comes out. So let's talk specs for a second. Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, which is something that I personally like, and a more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. Um, the cool thing about Raycon is that they offer a 45 day money back guarantee. So you can try these earbuds out and see if you really like them. And if you do, you keep them. If not, you send them on back. It's probably the best thing about wireless earbuds and, and the Raycons especially, is that they're a perfect way to take wireless audio on the go in your everyday life. Now here's the best part. If you click the link in the description below, which is buyraycon.com slash flight test, you're gonna be able to get 15% off of your purchase. So once again, by checking out the link below, you're helping flight test do what we do every single day. It allows us to offer free content to all of you watching. So big shout out to Raycon for partnering with us on this episode, as well as you guys for watching the content. We wouldn't be over here without you. And now let's get back to checking out what we got going on with this crazy project. Okay, we have two different tasks here. You're gonna be taking this FPV gear, doing that. I got to resurrect Lazarus over there. Um, our, the, the milk crate's like buried in planes right now. Yeah, it's and over it's, in a pile. It's busted. So we gotta get this going again. We're gonna take this down on the ready-made RC runway where we can really open this thing up behind the cockpit and see how she flies. Should we yell break at this point? It's like a huddle. No, we cover the camera. <laughs> All right, so what I'm thinking is on this one, so we just gotta take this little pod and put it in the airplane but it's different. So when we pull the canopy off and this nose cone we don't need anymore, there's a little hole for the camera wire to come through, but the DJI system is connected. So instead of tearing this all apart, just gonna simply put a cut down and then it's just simply sliding the wires through all the way down. So the idea here is with these little standoffs and the grips here, it might just kind of like friction fit yeah, did you see how it pinched together right there? Oh yeah. Dude, that was epic. Look at that. That's perfect. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. So we're just gonna drop it down just, just enough. That should fit right there. Boom. Looks like a catfish now. Yeah. <laughs> so it definitely looks like a catfish. One thing I do want to point out is, you know, if we were going long range or we were flying further away from us than just right here, technically in our backyard, I would want the antennas more like I do on our chase quads where it's kind of like at a 45 degree angle from each other. Basically just, just angle it like this and life is good. And now it doesn't look like a catfish. It, it, it still does. <laughs> <laughs> it looks cool, man. So if you guys are new to flight tests and don't know what this is, this is our FPV simulator chair. Uh, basically we wanted to thrill a flying from the cockpit FPV and we built this, oh my goodness, probably eight months ago. Uh, we used a simple gimbal from a busted up transmitter and then we went ahead and took the potentiometers which are internal to the transmitter and then linked it up so we could have rudder control, elevator and aileron. A uh, really cool thing about this is we were able to kind of resurrect something that we we're gonna normally throw in the garbage. But also now we can get an FPV experience through many different airplanes uh, simply by just binding into the radio. So I gotta go ahead and get this all set up here. I gotta kind of resurrect this. This gimbal was a little bit loose. It didn't feel very natural. And then also this is pretty tight. So we're gonna go ahead and fix this and then see how she works and take it out and fly. And that resolution feels so much better. I can actually feel the stick wanting to bring me back to center where before it was kind of like moving around a limp noodle. So we don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and button this up. Our next step here is all we need to simply do is we need to bind it to the Aura. This is already set up for the Aura. So whether it's a flying wing, whether it's a simple cub, whether it's a scout, whatever it is, as long as it's tuned on the Aura, we just simply bind it to it. That's a really cool feature about that. And uh, TJ, sure. we're ready. You what's wanna, what's you wanna... easier to help? Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll hit the button. If you want to <laughs> hold this down, when I say turn it on, turn it on. All right. Throttle's closed. Okay, where's the battery at? Oh, there we go. So what I got is because your foot motion and stuff, when you're flying in a real airplane, you oftentimes feel the feedback. Yeah. I got my expos turned way up because oftentimes I'll lean heavy with one foot. When you're flying through the air, the air pressure's pushing it back. You can't really 
feel that with the PVC pipe. So <laughs> Expo's up, but you'll see, like when I go to hammer on it and try to do that maneuver, yeah. boom, okay. through there. So I think that's great. And then give me just a little bit of throttle. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> so that should be it. And then if we wanna, if we wanna put it into launch assist mode, we wait for five seconds or so. One, two, three. <laughs> so you think you can launch it while you're sitting in the seat? No, but I think you can launch it while I'm sitting in the seat. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have our good friend Stefan launch this. I think that'll be epic. Yeah. We're ready to go fly. Awesome. Stefan! Stefan! <laughs> All right, man, what a beautiful day. This is awesome. <laughs> this is incredible. We got our FPV chair going. We got everything working. You got your quad ready? We're good to go. Awesome. We're ready to put this up in the air. Let's just pour the coals and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Buddy, I am. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right, give me the throttle. Hey. Wow! You are a rocket ship. I feel like I'm in a rocket that ship. Was, that was, was zero to 120 in three seconds. That, that acceleration was real. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so smooth. That's epic. All right, I'll let you catch up to me. Are you on me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. All right, this is so easy to fly this. All right, I'm just gonna feel this out here. I wanna just try a roll, just a couple basic things. I am, ready, roll. Whoa. Uh, that, was, that was cool. <laughs> Again, roll. Just feeling out the stick movement. It's so different when you're flying from the longer stick right. because the resolution is so much better. Holy cow. Follow, you, got, you on me? Yeah, I'm good. All right, I wanna shoot some gaps. Maybe I'm gonna regret this, but. Watch out for straggle branches. Straggle branches! <laughs> <laughs> oh my golly. Are you up for going up to some altitude and just, just trying the, the oh, boomerang dude, of yeah, doom? Yeah, I'm, I'm right on you. This right here is actually about where you were when you did it, line of sight. All right, ready? Here we go, rolling upside down, full forward, stalling it out. Oh. That's a little different. Yeah, I didn't get in at that time. Let me try it one more time. All right, here we go. Ready? Let me get on you, or better yet, go ahead. Rolling upside down. Back. Yes! Got it! There it is. Woo! Dude, you're so you're so high that this thing should go Mach 9 by the time you have oh, to good pull luck. out. I gotta pull out. I'm getting sick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh my god! I can't believe you just did that, man. Woo! That was awesome. And you didn't puke. I'm no, so proud. Boy, did I want to. <laughs> I want to see what that looks like in the camera. Oh, man. That was epic. All right. So let's just start opening it up. All right. This is fun up high. I mean, you're, it's like you're flying in a real airplane. The, everything about it is just incredible. But something tells me we need to go low. All right. You want to shoot some gaps? Yeah, let's shoot some gaps. Let's see, see what you can do with it. Hey, I'm too. Me too. Hashtag me too. I'm trying. I'm, oh, 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 I broke a prop. Dude, she's just bouncing all over the place. I broke a prop. Holy cow. All right, so. I just, I just died on camera. I'm sorry because I was so immersed in this cockpit. I'm just flying and I'm like, you have that moment that you realize that you're gonna hit something, but you're not disassociated with the fact that you're flying just a model airplane. And I was saying goodbye to my mama, my wife, my kids, my dog Max. Literally, my heart is just you're shaking, bro. Dude, that is how real this was. You shaking like a leaf. Okay, guys, we're ending it there. This this needs more refining. I forgot yeah. how much fun the FPV chair was, and also I'm hogging it. We got to get our friend TJ in. We got to also make this a permanent fixture. Yeah. All right, TJ, man. As always, Dude, thanks for coming out. It's always fun. Now, TJ's been part of the Flight Test family for a very long time. He's also doing amazing things for Buddy RC and also IO Model Products. Right? Yeah, oh, IO Model Products. So yeah. check out his channel. He's doing really great reviews and stuff. You're definitely coming back. We're not letting yeah. you lose <laughs> that easy. And uh, guys, thanks for being part of the Flight Test family. We'll see you next time. Bye.